Right, so, ready again. Uh, take two. It's going to be Andromeda tonight again, I think. Uh, <clears throat> hopefully, I'll check when it comes up, but yeah, I think that's what I'm going for. Uh, so, new things here. Uh, the counterweight system. I've got a new uh, uh, little... <clears throat> Well, new. I got my polar scope for my C gem. I think it's slightly more uh, magnification on it. I found it easier to see the, the dial and, and to get Polaris in that one than I found on the one for my EQM35 mount. <coughs> anyway, so I'm trying on that. Uh, yeah, also I fixed the, uh, the back focus. Uh, I was 7mm out. Yeah, so I'm pretty much, I'm like 0.5 millimeter-ish, maybe, kind of, uh, <clears throat> so. Uh, so we have just started the calibration, um, shooting Andromeda again, a little bit more carefully framed in this time. Uh, so we just finish the east step, doing a quick backlash clearing and then we're gonna do the declination this looks far too good to be true right stop that So, minimum move, 11, oh, 0.11, minimum move declination. Try to have a deck back compensation of 1670 milliseconds. And the graph looks, yeah, I don't know. Doubt now. Uh, so the reason I want to go for red, green, blue, the, the all of them, like this is so uh, that we have uh, like an average of the images as we pass through the sky we might have different uh, so that is one two three hours we go for. right so that is it um how's our guiding so i'm gonna restart from there from scratch and then we're just gonna get going. That's it. Acquisition started. The error looks like it's increasing slightly. It was starting out really nice. Now it's increasing a bit. If we stay around this area, it's it's nice. I would say. Last time it was calming things down when I went up to two seconds. I don't know. I think things got a bit hectic not that way shoot <clears throat> too hasty but let's go up to two seconds got any images we have look at that look at those satellites oh they're so nice no okay well anyway we have one image and I guess if we are having quite a few more, we could just stack that out. But there we have Astrobodon by sunset. But today we're going to image from the pad with the Lucid Mount Mark II. All right, just waiting for the sun to set. Maybe about two hours, I think. <clears throat> and I can do polar alignment. Yeah, so I have to do my farmer's chores here. Put the ducks to bed. <clears throat> that time, I think. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, that is a stunning view. It's a bit too bright for you to see it, maybe, but it is amazing. Yeah. Also, this view is amazing. Yeah. <coughs> so, lucid map, Mark II. Oh, that's too bright. There it is. 
in the sunlight. Right. So, we're doing an Andromeda tonight again. Uh, stuck the off axis guider on. I uh, think it's in focus, anyway. Uh, try to. I got the, uh, the uh, reducer on there. Off axis guider with a twist. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Makes it easier to find objects uh, to guide on. Alright. Something else here? No? I think so. See here again. We had a bit of nasty events. We've got some strange motion on the declination axis, but now it started to work out. Still haven't worked out exactly what's going on. Looks like a bad MOSFET, but as it comes out now, it looks alright. So, uh, I guess troubleshooting will continue if it occurs again. But anyway, yeah, this looks alright. Right ascension has got a higher RMS because of this uh, periodic function declination is fairly nice so yeah so here is an image of the Andromeda galaxy in blue yeah looks really nice right so this is the possibly <coughs> if it clears out Last night that we're gonna be using it in this current form. Yeah, we're gonna make some changes. Actually, right now I'm gonna make some changes by removing the Yetzin Nano, which we have so elegantly placed in there. Yeah, I do like the placement of it, but it's uh, yeah, it's too power power consuming. It's too heavy. It's too slow over the um, BNC <coughs> connection, so I'm going to replace it with my good old trusty Raspberry Pi 4. Yeah, so that's it. So, here we are. All powering up, bloody marvelous. So, this might be the last night I'm carrying this out in this form. Yeah, it's already, it's all, um, already only been, oof, I don't know, half a week ish, or oh, about a week with this motor, uh, a few days or nights rather, uh, out imaging, <clears throat> and I'm already changing things. Yes, so this was amazing. Yeah, absolutely wonderful except carrying stuff so I thought oh what do I need well I need it to be heavier yes so we'll get on to that later anyway <clears throat> something that I did change for today was um, I took the Yetsu Nano uh, like mount computer that connects to the, the cameras and runs the guider and everything else <clears throat> removed that and now I'm running with the good old trusty um, Raspberry Pi 4, yeah. <clears throat> um, so that's what I'm doing. Um, and yeah, we'll see how that works out. Uh, with BNC, which I'm using here, it's so much quicker with the Raspberry Pi than with the Yetson. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, I'm not doing machine learning at the moment, so I don't really need it right now. Uh, might go back to it later when I'm getting back in that groove, but. Right now, we'll, what we'll do as we have it right here, yeah? That's right. Right, so we have finished an evening on Andromeda. It looked okay. Uh, guiding was alright. Uh, we'll take a look at that. The uh, guide data here in PhD2 log view. So, <clears throat> if we take a step back here, we can see that it's a very obvious things going on here well we can see that there's a very uh, like long period error here so about 280 seconds in average here um, and yeah whatever that comes from I don't really know I have my suspicions 
or like say the current consumption uh, you have in this three phase system you will have one uh, phase getting all the current in one direction and the other two phases are sharing the current uh, but in the other direction so that means the one phase that gets all the current will have also a higher voltage drop through wires etc which means that the actual voltage over the phase coils is going to be uh, smaller and the current through that phase is going to be uh, smaller which means the other two phases might be a little bit stronger in relation so they will either push or pull them out slightly depending on which phase it is that is uh, getting all the current um, yeah that's just a theory anyway um, you could fix this with like periodic error training in in hardware like anticipating when this is occurring and trying to compensate we could see if uh, PSD2's periodic error algorithm could deal with it maybe I haven't tested that out just yet um, but yeah we also have these spikes here and uh, uh, what's causing that I don't know uh, we'll uh, figure that out I'm sure it's very periodic as well so there's gonna be something um, doing that uh, but yeah I mean if we could flatten this out get rid of this low frequency um, variation then I mean it would be quite nice I think I mean this uh, high frequency error is really quite small I think we would be below an arc second if we could do that that would be nice I mean if you look at declination here and compare it it's really not that bad yeah declination is not the issue here uh, it's getting a bit buzzy here at some point yeah you've got some spikes here as well but I mean and in overall here it was 1.13 arc seconds so uh, <clears throat> a little bit to work on but I mean comparing it to the right ascension it was 1.51 but then again I mean that is across the whole span over this entire series and we're not really using the all the entire span when imaging we're just using like part of it uh, for a single frame so <clears throat> we shouldn't suffer the full 1.51 arc second RMS uh, for a, any single frame I think yes so anyway a little bit to work on now <clears throat> and yeah uh, so I'm just gonna tell you, do some flats got my little flat screen here and uh, taking inside and then I'm gonna start processing to redesigning this a little bit yeah, upgrading it all right so that's it uh, so it was a short evening uh, but uh, yeah we had uh, about some 30 frames on each color made that's not too bad 